Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to demonstrate and explain to you in this upload how the naming of cells is used in Microsoft Excel. Here I have some annual income figures, perhaps think of them as salaries, and normally to add those figures I would perhaps use the Home tab, go across to the Auto Sum button, uh, it's guessed correctly, press enter, and there is my answer, $288,610. I'm going to delete that particular uh, result, and in its stead, I'm going to drag down through these cells, and here in this area called the Name box, I'm going to name those cells and call them salaries. And the reason I do this, after pressing Enter, is that I can now use the name of those cells in formulas. And the way I do it is this. I would type equal sum, open a bracket, S-A-L-A-R-I-E-S, close the bracket, and press Enter. And I get the same answer. If I look up here in the formula bar now, I see that those cells are equal to the sum of the salaries. In other words, the answer, uh, the, uh, the formula can be read in plain English. Now here I have another cell with the superannuation rate, 9.5% for example. If I click in this cell and name it super underscore rate, I started with a uh, with an alpha character and no spaces, so I've used the underscore there to take care of uh, a bit of separation in the, in the text. And when I press enter, I can now use that name in any formula. So if I want to know what the annual superannuation liability for a company is over here in this cell, because the owners of the business might say, what is our superannuation liability? for a year based on the salaries here. And the formula I'll type in there is equal sum salaries. I know I could refer to the cell, but just to see how the naming works, multiplied by the super underscore rate. And when I press enter, there is my answer. I'll probably format that at a dollar amount. So that quite simply uh, folks, is how naming works. It lets me read the formula in plain English. This is particularly handy where you might be looking at um, uh, uh, cells in spreadsheets that contain formulas that have been uh, prepared by somebody else and you want to see uh, what they've done. So if I click up here now in the formulas tab, and then choose Name Manager. I can see the names that I've created in this file, the values that they have, and I can use those in, uh, in my uh, formulas that I want to enter into cells. I can also say, I'll just delete that particular formula there. I can also say equals, and then open a bracket, and I'll uh, 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 say uh, sum, open another bracket, and in the formulas tab, I can use in the formula the particular named cell. So again, I'll close that bracket, multiplied by, using formula, the super rate. So that's another way to do it. And then I'll close the bracket, press enter and I get the same answer. So there's a short demonstration and explanation of uh, the way that naming of cells works in, in uh, Excel. Thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe we will be advised of lots more um, uploads that uh, will be um, carried out in the coming days.